welcome to Newx Bytes, part of a series of small videos to help you get the most out of Newx. My name is Carl Barron and I'm a Senior Solutions Consultant at Newx. Today I'm going to show you how to use tagging and bookmarking within Newx. The first thing we need to understand is what is tagging and bookmarking? Tagging and bookmarking is the method of putting a flag next to an item which will allow you to find the item again at a later stage. These tags and bookmarks remain once a case has been closed and they can be used to find items which were previously identified as relevant to a case, potentially months if not years down the line. Tags and bookmarks are typically the same thing. Some software calls them tags, some software calls them bookmarks. Newix uses the word tags rather than bookmarks. OK, so let's start looking at how to use tags within Newix. The first thing we need to do is to find some items which we would like to tag. For this demonstration, I will run the keyword search for secret. I will then check all of the items which contain the keyword secret. Once I have checked all of the items, simply click on the add tags button on the bottom of the workbench. This will open up the tag management screen. In the tag management screen, we can choose to create a new tag or we can use an existing tag. If you open up the tag management screen in a new case, you will see a screen similar to mine. If you open up the tag management screen from a case which already contains tags, you will see a list of available tags to use. For this demonstration, I will create a new tag. As the keyword search which I ran was for secret, I will call this tag secret. Once I have created the tag, I have the option to add items in the same family and to include duplicates. If I was to select to include items in the same family, it will look at all of the items which I've selected to tag and it will tag the complete family of all of those items. That could be email attachments or embedded items. Including duplicates, we'll look at all of the items which have been selected to tag and it will tag any duplicate items identified via MD5 hash. Including duplicate items is very important as there may be a number of copies of the same item found in different locations within the case. Once I have selected the tag, I then click OK and the tag will be applied to the selected items. This can be confirmed by the small tag icon appearing on the left hand side of the results pane. The reason we have tagged these items is so we can find them again at a later date. You can also add tags by right clicking in the results pane. I will now clear this search and run another search for the keyword confidential. Once I have run the search, I need to check all items, but this time instead of clicking the add tags button, I can simply right click in the results pane and select tags and add tags. You can also remove tags using this method. Instead of clicking add tags, simply click remove tags. Tag management is very important for keeping your cases structured and in order. Therefore, I'm going to create a top level tag, which will allow me to create sub tags, which relate to the top level tag. In this example, I am creating a top level tag of keywords. I can then create a sub tag by right clicking on the top level tag and adding a sub tag. Once my tags have been applied, I could then use filters to find these tags later on in the case. To do this, simply clear the workbench, navigate to the filters on the left hand side of the screen, open the filter tagged and check the tag which you'd like to see. This will refresh the results pane, showing you all of the items which have been previously tagged. Sometimes you may wish to add additional information to an item. As an example, this could be investigation notes as to why this item has been tagged. For this, Newix gives you the option to use comments. Comments allow you to add free text to an item, which is then saved as part of the case. These comments can then be exported later on with the items. To apply a comment, select an item you would like to apply a comment to. Navigate to the comment button at the top of the preview pane. Enter your comment 
and then click OK. You can see or edit this comment at any time by clicking the comment button again. Thank you for watching and feel free to check out some of the other Newx Bytes videos on the Newx channel.